Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make professional quality images to personalize your social media pages. So why is personalization important? Personalization involves branding and branding is vital to establish a trusted online presence. Most of the popular social media platforms allow you to personalize your page by using two images, a smaller square profile picture and a larger rectangular picture often called a head or cover. Most importantly, these images should be uniquely you. There are three websites that I recommend and use to create new images with. Each of them is slightly different, so go and check out each of them to see which one best suits your style. Here are just some basic design tips for you to follow when designing your images. Be creative. Obviously, you want to create something that separates you from the group. Always include a photo of yourself as well as the name of your page and product in all your images. Make several images of both types so you can switch between them to keep your page looking updated and active. You can achieve this simply by changing the color of the font you use or swapping out the backgrounds on your images. If you are using stock images from Google, be sure to check the usage rights on the image. It should be labeled for reuse and modification, but if it's not and you really love the image, you can always ask permission from the person hosting the image if you can use it and, and then just attribute it to them on your page. Also, when designing your images, be sure to center all your content towards the center of the image. This is just so that if your image does crop when you upload it to a social media website, all the content will still be there for your audience to see. Here are some examples of some good profile pic um, um, of a good profile picture and a nice header and cover image. You can see on the left in the profile picture is the person promoting the product and on the right you have the person's um, you have the person's brand as well as a picture of their product. So, so here comes the, the hard part, resizing your images. Each social media site requires different size images for the best results. It is important to resize your images according to the, to the social media site you use to maintain good quality images. So, so, what I, so what we mean by that is that you don't want any stretching, clipping, cropping or pixelization on your images. After you have designed your images, head over to resizeimage.net, the link is in the description as well, to resize your images for best results on whichever site you use. So basically this is what resizeimage.net looks like. You're going to start by uploading your image. Next, next you can select um, if you want to rotate the image or not. Usually you shouldn't, but you never know. Sometimes in the uploading process, your picture can come out wrong side up. Then at number four, resizing your image. This is where you will actually be resizing your image. You'll want to keep the, the size 100%, and then simply the two values following that are the ones you're going to change. Also keep the aspect ratio the same to make sure your, your picture doesn't stretch. And I prefer using JPEG as my selected output format. This is only because I have found that JPEG is al almost a, a universally accepted image format on all social media images. Also, when you see it, you'll see at number seven, you have options for for optimizing your image. Always select for the best quality image. When we're dealing with images on these sizes, they they rarely get large enough that you will actually have to compress them. So always select the best image quality option right there and then just continue to resizing your image and you'll, pre and you'll be provided with a download link with your resized image. Here, here are all the various values you need to resize your images correctly for the sites you are using. You'll notice that on Instagram there is no header or cover image size because Instagram doesn't make use of header or cover images. I'd recommend either taking a screenshot or a photo of this page or writing it down so you so you can quickly refer to it when resizing your images. Lastly, please visit our page and join our mailing list and you'll receive a free ebook which will give you some useful advice for online marketing. And as always, stay hungry.